read what Apache has to say about using the system authentication system yeah, for web yeah. authentication. Yeah. Well, doing that in general is a great way to hang yourself. Adding more complicated authentication into that and then authenticating your website via it is like, you know, using a rope with spikes all over it to hang yourself. <laughs> It's, it's somehow even less pleasant. Uh, thank you for putting a horrible image in my brain. <laughs> it's generally not done, right? It's generally I, I not I done. Yeah. Hey, Brian, I think you need some myth. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I'm talking, so... No, just... yeah. But when I'm done, yeah, I'm, I'm taking a rest. Yeah. Well, I've, I've seen authentication take place with something like LDAP, some external thing from my ex environment, yes. and then that is then used as sort of the key to tell you what you have access to, right? Yes. And I'm wondering if there is something PAM-like or somehow a module of some type that allows me to get rid of the LDAP portion entirely and do like a self, uh, how do I want to say this, a, a self-created identity that then you could use as your authentication. So anybody publicly comes to my site or whatever can ah. get a, an ID and then they, they're just giving a, a general purpose type of... Uh, can you have a PAM system that auto-creates authentication credentials for arbitrary public internet users? Yes. Um, usually, I'm going to have two answers for this. One, I'm certain somebody has done exactly that. Because there are hundreds of PAM modules for some really whacked out things. Usually what I've seen though is someone uses a web form to create the authentication credential. Uh, and then that gets fed to the back end of whatever PAM checks locally. So it could be as simple as uh, the web page runs add user and spits out the randomly generated password. There's a uh, uh, a couple of years ago the folks at uh, I can't remember their name at Devious uh, D E V I O dot U S did a wonderful talk on what it's like to run a public shell server with free accounts. Before you do anything like that, I would strongly encourage you to watch that talk. Because they're running OpenBSD, which is known for being secure, and their horror stories... Uh, well, at one point I had hair. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. I think I'm going to return the floor to Jim. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh.